Barbara was quite under the demands of her father. David did go over there and live for a couple months and paid room and food and board. And then Barbara, I believe, because of her father, who was very strict, would not see David anymore. Apparently, Barbara's father was not very fond of David. The marriage was short-lived. They were divorced after two years. David was supposed to see Johnny every other weekend, but Barbara always had an excuse. Either Johnny was sick or Johnny went to a birthday party or he was out with his grandparents. It was always something. So David maybe got to see Johnny once a month. He wanted to see Johnny all the time. He loved that baby. The situation worsened when Barbara met a new man, a man called Michael Wolf. Michael Wolf was 20 years her senior, and they met at a job site at Toys R Us in Hollywood, Florida. So they were co workers, and I guess they struck up a friendship. Next thing you know, they're together as a couple. They're getting married. They're moving out to Arizona. They're taking Johnny. Barbara started calling him more and saying that she was being abused and she wanted to come back to David. Barbara and him started having conversations regularly. And this is at the time that she knew that he had gotten visitation rights. My sergeant and my partner, Daryl Curtis, are out in Kettering, Ohio, interviewing Michael Wolf in an interview room while I'm sitting in the home of Barbara Britton interviewing her. She starts hyperventilating and um, she starts crying and she falls down to the ground and she crawls into a bedroom and then she comes back out. I mean, this is very bizarre behavior. She comes back to the table and she says, um, how many bones do you have? What do you mean, how many bones do I have? Because who would ask that question? Why would you need to know how many bones do I have? I'm telling you that I've positively identified these remains as being David Jackson, your ex-husband and the father of your child. I feel like I'm sitting with someone who actually participated in the crime. During interview, Nancy was clear what Michael had told her. Barbara contacted David. She let him believe that maybe there was a chance of them getting back together. And he was supposed to meet her at a Motel 6. He had told Nancy that it was Barbara that made the phone call to lure David to the hotel room. They used Barbara as the drawing card because Barbara had led David to believe that she wanted to get back together with him. And that's how they were going to get David to the Motel 6 and put their plan into motion. David showed up with a six-pack in hand. He knocked on the door, and Michael Wolf was in the bathroom with a gun. And when David arrived, it was supposed to be that Barbara was going to stun him with a stun gun and knock him out, but the stun gun didn't work. And Michael had to come out of the bathroom, and he raises the gun, and it's wrapped in a towel, and he shoots one time, and it comes over David's left ear, just above his left ear. But it doesn't kill him, it dazes him. And Barbara grabs him by the arm and sits him down in the chair. Well, Harry Britton was outside of the hotel room, heard the shot go off. He comes racing in and sees David still breathing. And he says to Michael Wolf, you need to shoot him again, he says, and shoot him in the heart. One of the other very strong circumstantial pieces of evidence that Barbara may have been involved in this, it was very obvious that she was trying to get David to meet her someplace secretly. And there were a number of phone calls where she was communicating with David. And certainly you would expect if she's bringing her child there that they would communicate, but not to this degree. Had she not made that phone call the catalyst, the driving force to lure David to the hotel room, he would have never gone there because he would have never gone to meet Michael Wolf and he would have never gone to meet Harry Britton. What would have been the purpose of that? He knew ill will would have been visited upon him. He was going to meet her when she called under the pretenses of that she was going to get back together with him. 